Hello there everyone, and thank you for joining me here at the start of a new campaign in Old World Blues, the A to Z series, in which we're playing as Ejercito Mexicano. Led by some guy named uh, Santa Ana, he dislikes Kaisar's Legion, he's a man of destiny. Interesting, he's very navally prepared though. Interesting. That's, that's, that's always normal book. Um, Lessons of Klaloc. Klaloc programmed Santa Ana to guard Texas against the army of Atis. When crafting a personality, how could it not pick the last Mexican to be obsessed with that state, willing to let nothing stand in his way? Uh, so, up next will be Santa Ana arrives in Ciudad Victoria. The first mission of Santa Ana was to liberate the small raider town of Ciudad Victoria to see how the AI would react when given the opportunity to strike out on his own. Uh, with, of course, Lilux's blessing in the form of a steel legion. Lessons of the Father. Santa Ana was the firstborn creation of the mighty Tlaloc, known to be the single most powerful AI in all the wasteland. Throughout its developmental states, it imparted innumerable lessons on us Anta, or Anna, working to shape him into the entity that he is today. Despite being a recreation of the original Caldillo, it is these lessons that form the very bedrock of who the Generalissimo is. Of all aspects of his historical counterpart, Tlaloc saw fit to teach his son with particulars cared given to Presidente, the Generalissimo, Caldillo. Oh, we definitely want Caldillo. Uh, the conquest of Tampico. Tampico was occupied by the so-called revolutionaries, bandits by any other name. How the general acted both tactically and strategically to free it, set a president. Nice. And we get not even at one political power day. Oh, God. Well, that's not cool. The conquest. The Ciudad Victoria Ultimatum. The first of Santa Ana's tasks was to clear Ciudad Victoria of bandits and raiders. When he reached the city, his robot army circled the town and threatened them with annihilation unless they capitulated. The Generalissimo's bro robots have broadcasted a simple instruction to all that would listen. Join the army or perish? Not bad. I like that. Join the reconstruction authority or die. Uh, this would give us more benefits in the long term. So, this other Caldillo. The general always sought to use his army to protect the people of Mexico. Sadly, sometimes people didn't understand what they, they needed for that protection. The uh, battle for Tampico. Tampico was an city to be liberated for Tlaloc in Mexico, home to a band of rogues who called themselves revolutionaries. Santa Ana drove them out through skillful use of his army, and particularly of the heroic conscripts who gave their life to capture Tampico. Legions of Steel that liberated the city through fire and blood. Oh, yes. Alright, so what do we want here? Superior mechanization? Uh, that's not bad. Because you get quite a few buffs here when we do all this stuff. I don't know. Um, well, Cartel El Colibri. The cartels plague much of Mexico, but there's one thing that the general, the general won't tolerate. It's other rivals for power. The destruction of Tam, uh, Tamalupas. Tamalupas, when Santa Ana approached, it was occupied by a detachment of the Texan Brotherhood. Once he realized that they were the successors of the American army that invaded Texas so many times, what followed did not go well. He learned much from the scarred survivors. Add jungle machine spirit. Ooh. We get more amphibious, marsh, jungle, and river. Attack and defense. And bonus for automated warfare versus the decimated attachment, detachment supplies became most useful. Oh. So you get it regardless. You get more river. Defense, attack, movement speed. Automated warfare. Uh, let's get the actual supplies here. Zapatan. Communique. Because we definitely need more scrap. My big brother, I found a way to contact you directly. It's hard to get through Father's defensive line, but I did it. I got you a present, some knowledge I borrowed via a revolutionary acquisition from the MSs. Please take it. I suppose I didn't hear from you, brother. Oh, my focus branch, the Battle of Cruz. Remember the Alamo. Data being train range. Short until the remaining time left. Use discretion on his line. Oh, get it anyways. So, this is... I don't think I remember this one from last time. This is actually really cool. I don't... Because I have played Santa at least once. Oh, these popped up. We have accepted Zapata's advice concerning Veracruz, Davy Crockett's return. And accepted Zapata's advice concerning the Alamo. Interesting. So now we can dismantle the El Colibri cartel and empty the nest. Which wouldn't be bad, we can do that scrap. Or get even more scrap, negotiating with the cartels. Do we want the cartels in our nation? I don't know, maybe. What are we missing here? Everything. Okay then. We definitely want anti-tank there. Uh, and we're training our navy too, so good overall. I'm just here, I just wanted to blitz through everybody as fast and as hard as we can. I just wanted to take them over, beat the crap out of them. But we have here combined armada. Not bad, it's pretty good. I don't like more spot consumption, but whatever. We have cartel blues. Ooh. 
Santa Ana's robot military scares away many opportunists that otherwise harass the population, but not the cartels as such. We'll continue to act as a destabilizing force until the general handles them directly. Militia Blues. Many of the militia groups that protected the countryside of northeastern Mexico and raiders and hostile war wildlife before the mad general's arrival had refused to lay down their arms. It was to inhibit their control over the rural parts of their territory until they dealt with. Negotiate with the cartels. Despite the best efforts of the robot army led by the ghost of a 19th century general, cartels plague much of the general's territory. Some parts of Santa Ana yearn to crush them and end their blight. This won't be the first time you accommodate powerful influences in La Patria. Promote Mexican small businesses. Let me explain how you negotiate with Securitrons. Um, this sounds like the one I'd choose probably normally. Let's go with this one. Oh, whoops. Yeah. Even though I like this one. Yeah, I think this one's better overall. Get cities. Follow the Colibri Cartel. Absorbing the El Colibri Cartel. Because we get more steel, and we can really use more steel. We get a presence in our nation. Apparently, Santa Ana did come back from the dead to just deal with some junkies. Santa Ana. First and strongest for the Lock's separate identities, and the only one to roam outside of Lilock's domain, Santa Ana is a plague upon the wasteland. Mad with power, desperate to redeem himself after his defeat hundreds of years ago, this insane AI has ensnared a portion of Mexico to do its bidding. It will stop at nothing to truly become the Mexican general believes itself to be. Yes, yeah, remove those blues. Ooh, finish your nice. Also, we are using Old World Blues, Old World Blues Radio, Old World Blues, Tech Expanded, and Fast Justification, I think. Just because at this point, I just want to go to war fast. I don't want to wait so long, forever. Rebuilding the nest. We have managed to work with the cartels and direct them towards a peaceful, lawful economy. New ideas to cater to Mexico's markets of arisen. And then we'll end the raids. There are many cartels that are on the run, attack, and drive them back. This was on the first rebellion sent to Anna Face, but God willing, it shall be the last. So here we do that one, and then we'll start working on automated warfare. Very nice. Um, what do we have here for this? Military theorists, automated warfare, that'd be good. Experimental subroutine. So a little less army XP and land adoption research should be better, better cost for naval and air stuff. It's not bad. I'll go with you though. What is this? Advanced power management. That's very good. El Caldillo. Combat. Robot. Nice. And then we'll end the raids. Glelock's illness, huh? Well, after that, I guess we'll do Tamalpas militias, which I'm sure I'm saying that wrong. The militias of uh, Tamalpas are nothing more than raiders by another name. Since Anakin can script them or use them as target practice. Secret language, eh? I like a secret language. Robotics? It's a little ahead of time for all this stuff over here. Um, Research-wise, that's okay. Uh, well, let's go with that. More output's always good, right? Oh, wow. We're mobilizing more. Frontier militias. Oh. Loose stability, loose stability. Loose factory output, too, huh? Get more attack, though, which is kind of nice. Oh, look at that naval XP. Keep going up. Oh, major businesses. Petro Chico Rails. Petro Chico Inc. Mexican heritage with... Zucoltel Industries. Interesting. Oh, we're gonna end the rage first. Get 10% more construction speed, 15% more stability. What's not to love? And three more dockyards, which we won't really use the dockyards too much, but whatever. Um, get from above. Look at that. Over centuries. The weather has changed drastically. Radiation storms and droughts ravaged the wasteland. As seasons change in Mexico, our people, and especially our farmers, once more pray for rain and prosperity for the crops. So let's hope this year is plentiful. A dry wasteland once more. I don't think we have a... Yeah, well, I'm pretty sure we don't have oh, what I really want, and that is a trade node. So we, that's why we want to go to war with Petrochico, you know? So what is this one next? Computer mechanization is not bad. Railway service is not bad. This is good, all very good stuff. Um, but... Successfully reactivate another factory in Reynosa every 120 days for the next year. Three, three more arms workshops. Huh? Mechanical computing. Sophisticated electronics. Nice. Ooh, we get a research lot down there. We already have four, so we're pretty good where we're at. Remove three civvies, add six arms workshops. Man and machine. Another research law, holy crap. Equation of war, completed utter denial. Add steel legions, which is pretty strong, which I like a lot, actually. I hate fighting, I hate fighting in Mexico, unless you're Mexico. And we're Mexico, so we're okay. Uh, we're gonna grab this anyways. We're gonna definitely need that. All right, ending the raids in it. Tamalupas militias, which I hope I'm saying that right. If I'm saying anything wrong, please let me know in the comments below, because I do not speak Spanish at all. 
Uh, organizational relations. We got advanced technology doctrines. Drastic measures I never use. Um, so we'll go to the inside one. Dismantling the Tamaulipas militias. And looting the towers, which is not bad. Oh, it's pretty nice. Or just absorb them. Get more water, which we don't need. But I want the inside for this one, so let's go on the inside for this one too. Absorbing Tamaulipas militias. Well, we could kill the militias. It's far better to give them ration script to kill our enemies. Communication network. Working with the militia, as we are connecting the people of Mexico like they have not been since the Great War. Ending the revolts. And finally, the militia dies. Thank God for that. Get three more dock yards, huh? Nice. I'll take folks' equipment. Go ahead and just grab this. Resource efficiency gain. Woodworking. So we're getting closer to done with that. But we're going to negotiate with the militias after we choose this one. The time's come for us to decide. It will make the demands of the militias at the negotiation tables. Uh, they could bring a much needed strength. Or tear out our army from the inside. Um, shall we meet their demands and integrate them or simply dismantle them at gunpoint? Uh, this, all the same, now is the time to decide the fate. Negotiate with them? Well, we want to negotiate. No one, we negotiate with nobody? Here we go. There we go. See what we can do. Alright, so with that being said, anyone here... Advisor cannot be fired once hired. Oh. Oh, that's wow. 5% more Moctezuma. Sabato. Extraction focus. Ooh, that's pretty good. That's not bad. That's okay. Um. Well equipped army. We'll probably want to go well equipped army. Defense positions. 10% more defense, more organization is not bad. Speed's also pretty good to get. Area focus. Ooh, daily air XP. Ooh, that's something we haven't gotten in a while. You know what? Let's go to. Wasteland focus first. Or we'll equip I should say. And then we'll do the air one, because I want I do want to get some air XP. I think that'd be nice. Nice. Actually, what are you doing here? Yay! Can't do anything about it yet, but that's alright. Because this hurts us. Well, I mean, it gives us a little more money, but it's not worth it. So. Alright, not bad. Resource production's good. Um. So we'll still ahead of time for that. I don't know how much of the Navy I really want to use. But I want to gain some gliders. And after this one, uh, we're going to grab improvised tools. Or instead, actually, I'm going to come down here. Using the Overall Boost Tech Expand. I love this submod. It just makes it things just a little bit easier. Which some people don't like, but I will. Actually, I'm not got too many disagreements about using the submod ever. But whatever. But we do have a cup of coffee. It keeps us nice and warm, too. So. All right. So basically, Tlaloc is going to die in the end. And his, he has an illness. Tlaloc's memory banks aren't as fast as they used to be. Could something be happening to dear old dad? God. Oh god, that sounds terrible. Uh, weekly manpower, that's nice. We don't need that. We need this one. Hmm. Nice. And then we're going to go over here for robot perks. Yes. Another heavy robot division. Zepan... A Zapatan Community. Dearest brother, how goes the war? No, wait, don't answer that one yet. You haven't finished yet. The Battle of Veracruz, I mean. They've heard of it, right? The Veracruz used to be the strongest fortress in North America before the American Yankees fought to take it from us. In a way, on a certain mindset, you could say that the battle's still ongoing. After all, the Mexican army isn't in control of Veracruz right now, is it? Maybe you should go and do the job yourself. Were they really hiding from me all this time? Sure, reminding me, there's a hold. There's a holding of Petrochico, not the American army. NFarm.39.a.tt what does that do? Anything? So sent it. Um, he's a tough leave. Lever? Thiever? Leader. Seven after some respect. That's interesting. Um, I might go with Frost Authority eventually. But for now, since we've got these, this guy, I want to go Melee Hacker because I want more attack. Definitely want more attack. Tough Leader. Yeah, Cold Personality though. Ferocious Loyalty. And Cold Personality. You get a massive army. Nice, we're talking humans. Dynamic tactics integration, more defense, breakthrough, robots get a little more 15% more speed. Holy crap. That's a lot more speed. Keep building up for now. Superior mechanization, huh? Santa Anta's forces did not use shoddy Arabco designs, but uh, <clears throat> reflected in the Petro Chico. Uh, TM engineering philosophy. If you wonder about traders from Hawaii, please go ahead. I've read these before. I've read this one before too, but today marks the traditional celebration of the Day of the Dead. With the origins of the festivity having mostly been lost in the centuries after Armageddon, the spirit of new supernatural celebration and ancestral remembrance remains strong. All across Mexico, from the highest class to the lowest, commemoration of the event unites people, cementing this small connection with the world that has passed for another year. 
Back for negotiator. Why not? Because actually, you know what? Let me show you the divisions we have right now. So we have militia, which we can't do anything about that yet. Uh, oh, communication network, real quick. Ending uh, the revolts. Uh, we have these lower infantry guard, uh, which is not technically too bad. Um, then we're using our heavy forces, which is only six, 12 combat with three uh, sport robots, three combat robots with anti tank, as well as a CNC attachment, which is nice. These are just light robots. Ooh, thank, thank to the gods. Today's date marks the celebration of Thanksgiving in Mexico. You know, the festivity of the holiday has been burned away by nuclear fire. The idea of thanking gods has remained across Mexico. Tla gives food and tries to impart the mostly American tradition on the people of Mexico. The Mexican people thank their gods and pray for another year of safety and survival. Thank you, our people shall feast tonight. Nice. Oh, and gliders, yeah. Definitely want a lot of gliders in the end. Um, there you go. And we'll probably use special forces, too. And we have motorized here, too. Which is okay. Um, actually, technolo technologically speaking, we're pretty good on everything. The special forces are actually really lacking, so we might not need special forces maybe in the end. Plane-wise, we are going to get to at least intermediate, so we'll be good overall. I'm not super worried about it. And we can eventually get to level 3 or sophisticated or robotics technology. Which would be good. I guess we get weekly manpower. It's only plus 2. It means nothing. I mean, Mexico has enough manpower. It doesn't matter, really. <clears throat> And then we'll talk about his illness. Not dad's illness, so no. But the faster dad goes away, the faster we can go to war with everyone else in Mexico. Military drills, we're gonna come down here uh, for more uh, political power. Oh, good. Very good, very, very, very good. Not all heroes wear capes. So then we have utter denial. No, no, he's fine. Sure, he stutters once in a while, and then forgets that Petro Chico's parent holding LLC is no longer with us, but Tlaloc is fine. Fine, I say. Of course, superior mechanization, of course. Barrage balloons are good, because I want to get ready for... Oh, it's already January the next year. Um, Triplane fighters. Cast. I love cast. Oh, my God. La Pesca Land Acquisition. Sometimes an army must develop a country for its people. Tampico Land Acquisition. Tampico's residents can report to their new assignments. Reynosa Dockyard Renovations. Although Reynosa hosted some of the most small fishermen and merchants, it's no longer the great port from before the war town to fix this. For all six agreements with Tlaloc's management in Mexico, Santa Ana still views him as his father and as protector of the Mexican people. As such, he has taken his illness rather poorly. What will Mexico do next? Or do without him? Oh god, the death of the father. We lose 10% political power. Oh god, no. Father of mine. No, Tlaloc cannot deny. Santa will not let his motherland suffer, and he won't let his father suffer either. He may have quarreled with father. Father may have at times. Father's son was not even a little too wild, but Tlaloc and Santa Anna have been each other's rock for over a century. How could he possibly die? Take me back to the day when I was still your golden boy. Oh boy. Oh, the Battle of Veracruz. Uh, the Battle of Veracruz was a 20-day siege of the key Mexican beachhead support, seaport of Veracruz during the Mexican-American War, lasting from March 9th to 29th, 1847 at least. So we have thought. From a different outlook, the battle's still been going on for centuries. Veracruz trading hands between American and Mexican forces in an endless struggle. Well, let's do that other focus first, and then we'll go to war. Because how strong are these guys? <clears throat> Protectors guarantee a gas nation. Ooh. Department of Warfare. The Board of Acquisitions. The compounds growth speed plus 20%. Holy crap. Board of Directors guarding the homeland. Santa Ana's birthday. On this day in February 1794, Santa Ana's human predecessor entered the world. While the new Santa Ana's far cry from his ancestral forerunner, um, and details of his past life are gleaned only from his clear locks fading memory banks, the AI still feels a fond connection to this day and has taken to observing it in his own quiet way. The fact has been capitalized on by Santa Ana's more judicious sub-programs, who have been begun to foster commemoration of the day in the local populace who are quite confused but nonetheless happy for an extra day of celebration. Is that a great pixel in my hair? This is definitely one in my hair. Oh my god. Oh, LCU gains coalition of boards. That's not bad. Return on investment, huh? But we must get ready to go to war, because if we don't go to war, are we really playing Old World Blues? Or at least wait for it. Alright, so with that, my, we'll get more research speed. Build, 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 my boys. You know what? Leave it as it is. I'm not going to mess with it too much. Alright, economic advisors. Well, this is actually really good to get, because we're going to need a lot of energy. We don't need it immediately yet, though. Executives, huh? 
Before they die. The executives. I think I've played as them before in a different focus tree. No, kind of unique focus tree, actually. It's a little unique. Um, what do we want? Robotic focus? Ooh. Oh, this would be good. That one would be good to do. Democracy. More to beep beep. Good. Um, I don't know. Anyone we really want here yet? Not too much, no. In all honesty. Robotics. Less defense, more soft attack. Petro Chico robotics. Petro Chico naval stuff. Air stuff. Oh, actually, I did say I want to get this guy first. It's not much air XP, but it's more than nothing, so. Um, in the meantime, you know what? Just don't even train. Get ready to go and fight him. The Den cleared. Oh, the Den. Put it on New Reno. Amphibious. More speed, more defense, river crossings, plus 30% tech. That is just so broken, man. Holy crap. Oh, basic training equipment's nice. And after the Battle of Veracruz, we've read through a lot of these already. Typical airport renovations. This airport will make a fine logistics hub for the liberation of Texas. And then, the equation of war. Santa Anna's turned the art of war into a science. No way Santa can replicate the skills he's learned, studying 400 years of tactics. Of course not. And we got four days left, why not? And, uh, there you go. Alright, so can we rough him up just a wee bit? Yes, we can. I did not give you orders. God dang it. Keep them all in place and whatnot. Besides, if we grind it out, we get a lot more XP anyways. Um, with these guys, they have a navy? No. Honestly, we could have just naval invaded them too. But that's one way to grind things out. And make this guy, Manuel Fernando uh, Castrillon. Uh, more of a fortress buster. Look at that. Fortress buster is going up by quite a bit. Hill fighter, a desert fox, a jungle rat. I want those traits. You really want those traits. For this one. Take this doctrine tech will lock us out from swapping to another kind of doctrine in the future. Hurts our tank platoons and robot security robot platoons too. Friendly platoons hurts hurts quite, quite a bit. Quantity? Uh quantity is not bad, it's actually fairly strong. Quality though, better supply use, more HP, maintenance support units, oh we get maintenance too. More breakthrough soft stack. Oh yeah, I definitely do that one. With that in mind, let's go ahead and get maintenance next. Nice, ah, so we broke through. There we go. Santa Anna's equation. Santa Anna has spent the better part of the last two years trying to weigh the tactical disadvantage of human over reliance, or disadvantages of human resilience and creativity against the potential benefit of integrating them into his armed forces on a large scale. The core of his dilemma comes from the mathematical nature of his mind, which focuses heavily on the innate militant superiority of machines, which dominate human forces in almost every counter. However, Santa Anna also acknowledges that this intellectual flexibility and sheer quantity of human forces he could bring to bear against his foes could present a variable advantage that can never truly quantify. His choice in the matter will determine the composition of El Ejercito's army for decades to come. Human flexibility. Mexican regulars. I always choose the one on the left. It just makes more sense. We're not even going to conventional warfare. It makes no sense to go this way. You get more like infantry stuff, just like a robots. Attack, defense, and reliability, sort of. A lot more population. You get sophisticated infantry attack or a menace Mexico. It just makes more sense to go this way. It's just so much better. Unlocks focuses on enhancing your human troops. Robotics. Oh, we're opening the Ciudad de Victoria Armory. The Ciudad de Victoria was home to several units of the American Army before the war. The lock has kept those depots under lock and key, but it's time for Santa Ana to put them to use. Beautiful. Steel legions. Oh, yes, please. The fool called Kazars claimed he leads the legion, but let them face the heroes of Mexico. Assaultrons, Senor Gutsis, iBots, and even some humans all will work together to protect the nation. Absolutely. All right, let's go over here. Mechanical Triumph. Santa Ana learned last time why the flesh is weak. The robots are much nicer. Ciudad Victoria, land acquisition. Uh, the people of Ciudad Victoria need to devote themselves to a war with Texas. How can they waste their time in idleness when it must be secured at all costs? The Ciudad Valles, land acquisition. Another day, another community drafting another glorious crusade. Nice. Uh, research speed is always good to get to. 
And since we're here, occupied territory is good. Caravan guards, we'll go that one. And we'll come over here. And we'll come over here. Very nice. Also, let's take over a Petrochico. After a heavy days of fighting, reports are being coming to come in from the front that saying that El Ejército Mexicano has broken the stalwart defense of Petrochico's capital, the refinery. Despite having a defensive line manned by thousands of men, the El Ejército Mexicano special operations units were able to penetrate a lightly guarded section of the refinery's defense. The guard detail in the area was quickly and quietly eliminated under the cover of night, and a gaping hole was blasted into the barrier that separated the refinery's interior from the fighting outside providing El Ejercito Mexicano with an opening to funnel forces into the objective. Faced with defending their capital from both inside and out, and losing more men than they could sustain, El Cio, who had been fighting the enemy alongside his elite guard, the Manajas, ordered the refiners and target to surrender their arms. Now scattered of the wind, El Petrochico's people fled east to Chichen Itza and south to uh, Nuevo Aslam. It seems that for this once proud people, the fourth quarter had finally come, El Ejercito Mexicano, forces now occupy the derelict but precious refinery, a relic of the old world. Our soldiers have paid enough, and blood, the refinery is ours. Nice. Better production costs, yes. Just a little bit more, I guess, electronics build. And a little bit of blood's build in Mexico. But then we gotta do a reckless anger. This is the fault of the stupid gringos who built the lock. They've done nothing but harm my country, my family since the 19th century. They take land with their armies, our resources, with their treaties, and their hopes with their culture. And now, uh, they are taking my father? Look at this guy. Oh, hello. Oh, oh what are we missing? Oh, we're missing guns? Uh, I guess you know, a pipe. We've lost eight versus a thousand. Oh, God. Continue to let them grind, though. Oh, never mind. They're gone. Nice. Simple people that take upon themselves the name of father's parent company are for the most part peaceful, but with the rise of the Mayans, a choice must be made. If I want to protect them effectively against, from Itza, I must take them over. Ooh, they were about the followers of the Apocalypse, please go ahead. And stand against the southern threat of Makazuma, one of my brothers. Could it be of use in my struggle? Yet it is, it is sure I will have to pay dearly for assistance. Patrick, you go to Ooh, Zapatan, Zapatan. Can we keep? Comrade in arms, you've seen it too, haven't you? The return of the Yankee rebels at the Alamo? I couldn't believe it either. To think this far into the future and they were hiding all this time, it's crazy, isn't it? Surely this is the work of vile capitalism. American dogs trying to bring back your worst enemy to spite you. So this place could be a good chance to put them in your in their place. Tell my battle, I am my own man, Zapato. Could it really be David Crockett? Ah, the refinery, the beating heart of Petrochico, has been left to rot for far too long. Its towering buildings and complicated mechanisms become sites of worships for the tribals, and while this is understandable, I will sadly have to clear them out. Let them take solace in the reactivation for now more than spiritual guidance. It offers wealth and prosperity to Mexico and its people. Alright, 183 is not bad. We're not building infrastructure. Well, I'm we'll do that one. Resistors. Resistor hardly over. <sighs> Jose de Ola Era? De Ola? Something like that? Uh, no. You get the job. And what else do we want on this person? Gunslinger lead foot. Oh, Raiders from the South last night. A large fleet entered a site on the shoreline. Oh god. Slowly and silently, the fleet crept forwards until from the center it landed five craft emerged. Swiftly, these crafts landed on the shore, and out of them spilled highly trained marines of the Chichen Itza Mero de Adoros. They swiftly overwhelmed the small local militia as well as the garrison of the nearby military installations or installments. The marines grabbed everything they could and burned down the rest before slipping back into their own crowd and leaving the navy that brought them. Cowards, we must rebuild. Idiot savant might not be bad. Uh, the left foot actually might not be bad either. Evasion speed. Oh, recover rate, though. We could recover faster. That might be what we're going to choose. Yeah. I like fast recoveries.
Nice. And Pierce is a nice. Compliance, growth, speed, keep working on all that stuff over there. Maintenance is good. We have anti tanks, which we will need more of. Um, frontline platoons, sure, why not? We could use more industry stuff, though. Uh, David Crockett's return. He's back, the darn devil. Uh, the only, it's the only explanation for the return of the Yankee Rebels on the current year. We need to put an end to this before I have to relive, relieve, or relive, probably relive, my greatest failure once again. Nice. So we're out of guys, CNC robots, not bad. Maintenance, yeah, I'll go and put the maintenance on there. That'll be fine. All right, let them come in. I know it. I probably shouldn't let them in, but whatever. Um, yeah, let's get the refinery core. That's good. Right, look at those resources. Oh my God, Jose Aria got a virus. Oh, even about that, please go ahead. Not good for him. Oh well. I don't know which one I really want. Petrochico Air? Yeah. Good. Industry. Yes. All sorts of industry stuff to do. Very, very good. Uh, better support equipment? Yeah, that'd be nice. Let's go with three. Smoke signals. Cool. Let the Alamo chapter finish these guys first. Francisco Kosterlitsky. What are we missing here? Just a lot of anti tank, probably. Yeah. Field mains is nice. Yes, please. David Crockett return, and then we're going to do Mechanical Triumph. Yes. So much nicer. Now we get more political power, we really needed it right there. So, let's go and save real quick and see what happens. I guess kind of going with Followers of the Apocalypse, no matter what happens, we're going to continue expanding. We'll find them eventually, here and there. We could always just not have to deal with them. And they can help Mexico, the Mexican people out anyways. Can we actually win here at all? Oh, I didn't give you orders. My bad. What, what is wrong with me? There you go. And, uh, oh, you might as well do that. Why not? So that's a little bit more time. Could you try it? 54, 54. 55, 55 is good. How much are you learning? Um, 57, 56, not bad. Urban Assault Specialist, good. Oh, you might need this. There you go. 59, 62. They do have power armor there, interesting. 60, 64, good. And, ooh, they actually landed. They actually have a division there, huh? Smart for them. Yeah, let's go ahead. Uh, I usually don't like naval invading. Usually not. Here. About settlements, seed selections, get more output, decoded signals, very good. You're doing that already, which is nice. Um, construction, yes, please. Pick up the army, not quite. Military command. Go grab this one. Even more attack. Oh, we're on a lot less attacks. Nice. I think a triumph is good. Four off map workshops, wow. Well, we're going to go with this one first, since we already read it. Let them spread out and see what we can do. Nice. See what you can do. Spread out, spread out, spread out. Because these guys will be here soon, too. What is division? Is that oh the Alamo chapter? That's actually really nice to have a division that they have right there. 
Um, special force is not bad. I'm gonna grab you. I'm gonna max out all the robot stuff first. Zapan, Zapatan, communicate. Brother, it looks like the file is going to sleep very soon. Very shortly, I'll be able to join you in the waking world, no longer having to communicate through this firewall. I'll be my own man. I want to thank you for helping me get to where I am, where I will be today, since I know when I wake up, we might not see eye to eye. Please take it. Hold on to it during the upcoming struggles and battles we surely partake in. Two men fighting over the fate of Mexico. Would it be grand? I look forward to our battle, brother. More arms workshops. Very nice. Help me out here. Oh, yeah, actually, got there. Brownsville. We've lost 73 versus almost 600. Very good. Why did you let them take that? I do not understand. They're almost there, almost there, and we linked up. Good. There's one guy there, maybe. Why did you all go there? What is wrong with you? Nice. Of course, the land of Ciudad Victoria, land acquisition. The people of Ciudad Victoria needed to devote themselves to a war with Texas. How can this waste time without us when it must be secured at all costs, which I read before? Uh, this one. Coastal militia integration. There are so many coastal militias throughout our land that have seen fit to protect their lands against its invaders or other bandits. Their courage is admirable, and their skills as sailors second to none. It would be most beneficial to extend an invitation for them to join my navy as officers. I'm sure they'll be, except once they learn of my plans concerning the Aztec menace. I'm waiting right now for uh, more planning to get, get done. That is the goal. Nice. Definitely more combat robots. Um, it's got one on gliders for now. It's fine. And here you go. See what you can do. Nice. Jungle rat, love it. Oh, they're actually in circle here too. The Vaca Palette as well, they're gonna be gone. Get more attack and speed. That's where it's at. Or I guess organization and speed, maybe. Can you guys go now, maybe? No? Okay. Take your time. Ah, good. We want two, three, four, five divisions trapped here. Nice. Appointing the Almirante. Well, let's uh, do this one. Or no, let's do this one first. I want to save time for that. Uh, stuff that. You know what? Screw it. You're not doing that. Take over here. Are you so... How slow are you? My god. Battle for Hoover Dam. Very nice. Very nice. I'm trying to move up the coast. <coughs> Excuse me. Anniversary of the American Occupation. Today marks a grim day in Mexican history. The beginning <clears throat> of uh, the American occupation, of course. People of Mexico, even after centuries, people of Mexico uh, still remember when American forces entered Mexico for the first time. The occupation led to the annihilation, uh, annexation and colonization of the North Mexico into a pro-American public Mexico. The creation of the Petro Chico and armed Poseidon Energy and the creation of Rio Grande. It was American soldiers who helped Mexican citizens after the bombs dropped. Despite the centuries that have passed, people of Mexico still have the fire resistance in their hearts. A scene under history.
good with that. Old world wall holds good. Go through there. Learned radio is good. Go and grab this one. And we got him there. Nice. Come on. Nice. Bench him up there. Jungle monkey. Uh, you know what? Let's go with improvisation expert instead. We can get that one later. Manuel. Oh, they're not even a. Robotics expert, that's weird. Go logistics. And you know what? Let's do jungle monkey because I never choose that. Oh, this one got a virus, that sucks. Um reopening the La Pesca Armory. Why are there so many untouched pre war American armories throughout Mexico? Who cares? Just take it. Flash is very weak, yes. There you go. Oh, we need to spend some time just building up our uh, heavy robots because they take so much to produce. They're very effective when you use them, usually. They're very. God, they get from above. Ooh, not so much a gift. There you go. Trapped. Eight divisions trapped. Love it. Nice. Very good. You go all the way through here. Okay, sneak up the coast. Very nice. I've lost uh, 3,700 versus our 136. Very good. Let's keep on going, guys. You guys learned a lot. Go ahead, Hell's Fighter. Be nice. Land acquisition. And eventually, have mandatory service. Santa and a toy with a stating that service guarantees citizenship. But remember that the Constitution assured everyone citizenship, which means citizenship guarantees service. Exactly. Ooh. Could use them in our own navy, but whatever. They're really weak, though. Beautiful. Um. More organization, yes, please. And just literally take the Alamo. Nixon. Oh, I love Tricky Dick. And we got him. Beautiful. I don't like his iron mongers. Railway con construction. Or reconstruction. People of Mexico will be tied together through the railroads like a safe cage around their homes. Wait. The liberation of Texas. Texas is the home of some of the most despicable elements of the wastes. Rampant militarism, pitiful mutants clinging to their past, cannibals, raiders, abominations. This cannot go on, but I need another bridgehead. The pursuant are despicable cowards are lighting in the hunt and butcher of innocence. And they'll serve this purpose just fine. They will surrender or they will burn. I remember the Alamo. The Alamo chapter former is a rival of the Texan Brotherhood and seeking to gain independence has been of interest to me since their recent inception. I've studied them a great length, seeking to find if they were both worth tolerating as to avoid any bloodshed, but it seems that sadly they're just as disgraceful as the ones they seek to distance themselves from. The Alamo shall fall to Mexico once again. Oh, let's do this one. A reckless anger. Uh, finishing, uh, finish liberating the pursuant. Many raider war bands still hide in the deepest parts of the wilderness, seeking nothing more than to feebly cling onto the savage way of life. A final ultimatum will be sent. Join me in abandoning your misguided ways, or my army will rid the land of the biggest the blight you afflict upon it. Many will yield, but for those who do not, they will be smoked out and shot like the dogs they are. Wrathful thoughts. Oh, they're doing this to him. His sons. Eh. I will destroy them all. My armies will burn Makazuma's empires to the ground and slaughter the soldiers he's so proud of. Destroy Maximilian's dream before his very eyes and spit on his remains. Gut every single one of his apostles below citizens like pigs and make sure they scream to the heavens to the top of their lungs, crying out for their savior. When it is done, I will erase every single evidence of their pathetic existence. They shall uh, all burn, burn in hell for what they've done to my father. I'll gather my forces, let none stand before my sight. Ooh, very nice. Good. Aggressive focus, yeah, I'll if we want aggressive. If we can. Our guy's looking pretty chopped chop right now. Oof. And we're gonna lower it by one just because we need to raise. Oh, 
many are actually in each division. Um, I'm gonna go with a light robot to just increase organization a little bit more. It only go by 0.3 because this actually lowers it by a little bit. So 16. 1, 2, 3, 4, 5. 5 and 5 might work out actually up decently. You're still at 40, but you still get more combat abilities overall. Yeah. Way more soft attack, better air attack, way better defense, way better breakthrough. Decent more armor. Um, I like 20 combat with. That's just me. So right now, what are we making? Support companies. We need way more heavy lifting robots, which is fine. Do that. Do that too. And does joined. Get more anti tank. Contact loss. Oh no, that's not good. Can we actually beat them? We found the expedition good. Blend cultivation. Very nice. I don't know if we can beat them. Well, they have enough open ways that we should be able to do okay against them. We have division count, but they do have like stronger divisions because tanks are very, very tough to beat, especially if you don't have enough anti tank. But if we can move in fast enough. That's what I'm hoping for. Like you go to Addis Town and whatnot, you take away the VPs. You might be able to do something, maybe. Because um, the ghouls are not very difficult to out. And they're not really moving around, huh? God dang it. Well, go right there then. Oh, now they're attacking us. Oh, good god. Yeah, we're actually armed Carthage. The tenuous relationship between Carthage and the Texan Brotherhood, owing to the former raiders' heritage, could be my advantage to the upcoming conflict. It would be unacceptable to leave the fate of the Texas people in the hands of the dullards foolishly seeking themselves as peacekeepers, but first they must be weakened. I'm the advisor for a preemptive campaign strike, shall I do just fine. Who's this one? Remember the Alamo, Pursuance, nice, Liberation Texas. Ooh, for start the solar planets. McAllen hosted a powerful experimental solar array, the leftover of an experiment seeking to decrease energy dependence on strategic uh, strong points of the nation. With the territory secured, my robots can repair this array and connect it to the existing network, which should considerably increase the region's energy production. We actually beat the tanks. And they beat us, but then they left. What the heck? That's special. Um, go here. Why don't you guys be attacking me there? Welcome to the last shell. Nice. Ah, so they're cut off from the capital. That's pretty good. Oh, God dang it. Well, I guess we're going to go to Hondo, which is actually more viable than this style. Oh. You're about these. Please go ahead. Ooh, that's not bad. Sure. Hey, we got him. I was actually getting kind of worried there for a moment. Oof. Texan arms. Not bad. Big iron. Out of the spinner warbands resulting from Addis's bloodthirsty resulting in his comeuppance, the ironmongers remain mostly hopelessly violent of the three. Composed of only dull soldiers seeking whatever scrap they can fight for. If I'm secure and legitimate my rule, they need to be taken out of the picture for good. Crush rebels. For t far too long, the brother has pretended to represent the will of the people. While all the while they seek is to further their own interests and bring all of Texas under their control. No more time for me to take the rein and gather the Texas people towards a new prosperous future. Desperate bargaining. Can we do not do something to save you, father? What if we give you mixed millions instead of banks? So you're mine, even. Empresarios. Ooh. So how, how strong is a brotherhood? We probably have to fight them all then. then. Uh, 30 to. Oh my god, that's a lot of divisions. Let's wait to take those guys out. You need to be Austin. We'll see how they end up doing. Um, the Shell's army is probably going to win, which I would probably want to take the Shell's army out, probably. Besides, we need to spend some time just, just like, making ourselves bigger and stronger. 
Like, it's, it's really bad right now. It's really, really bad. At least we got a core. That's good. Welcome to Super Mutants. Well, Crush Rebels. Uh, we could do that one. Uh, let's do this one next. Another day, another day for the Glorious Crusade. Um, welcome to Super Mutants. Many Super Mutants or ghouls residing throughout my land seem to aspire for nothing more than to be left in peace, or allowed to settle down. These tired souls have been battered and broken by the condition, as well as a harsh wasteland. May they find a home in my lands, let none doubt that no matter what their heritage, they all become equal in the glorious nation of Mexico. Recruit means it's going to destroy our organization. Super Mutant Auxiliaries, huh? Appointing the Almiranta. Uh, a few in the Proud Nation couldn't possibly argue to have the skill necessary to act as Supreme Admirals. The further study of my internal databanks have allowed me to find many documentations and studies about naval warfare graciously provided by the United States military records. And so it falls upon me to guide our newborn navy against the aggressors and lead Ejercito Mexicano to victory. There goes the National Guard. Goodbye, National Guard. Mm. There you go. That's pretty quick to do. I don't even want to be bothered with it. Just do that. There you go. Ball of Unity. Nice. Yeah, we're looking very weak for all these guys. Oh my god. Not good. We got a lot of tanks though now. Uh, railway construction. We read this together. Robco. Factory reactivation. Some of the Robco factories from before the war are still operational, but were mothballed by Tlaloc due to insufficient consumer demand. Time to demand the reactivation. Yes. Sacrifice. Father, please, I beg you, let me help you. Uh, surely this isn't your fate. Surely there's something I can do. Your sons have taken so much from you. You need to take what's rightfully yours back. They're killing you, Father. At least take my own mainframe, mine, those of uh, one son that use you more than any other, but you're too kind and caring to do such a thing, aren't you? But let me do something, anything, there must be an answer. Pre-war computers, yes. That would be able to bring you back. They must be able to, after all. This can't be how it ends. Tear the wasteland apart. Darn the cost, I won't let it end like this. Oh, God. Robco factory rearmament. The factories are not just for turning out Mr. Handys, like most of America's Mexican infrastructure. They can be turned to war. Adaptable, uh, demi-AI. Some may call the latest crashes bug, but actually they reflect innovation. Yes, the robots are breaking because of innovation. Robco al design alterations. Robco is happy to test his weapons for war upon the Mexican populace. When we invade Texas, we'll turn the tables. Mm, which one do I want? Ship designer's not bad. Uh, maybe that one. Um, maybe that one. Nothing there really too much I really care for. Oh, what is that? Mechanical computing. The odds of any human making. <clears throat> And this shot in 991, but Santa Ana's robots can calculate the bullet's trajectory with the greatest of ease. Superior subroutines. Rosado may think she's brilliant, but Santa Ana spent 200 years finishing or fighting his er, er, men. The army of Mexico will be unstoppable. Guy, a plant activation. General Tom Mex has allowed factories in pre war Mexico. We can salvage some of them as well. Guy, plant rearmament. Some might wonder why General Atomics included flamethrowers in its midst to handy's designs, but not the general. Man machine. With the secrets of the Armageddon station now in safe hands, I can reactivate its strategic importance, or strategical computers, as well as tactical databanks, for my own re research purposes, which will allow me to access pre war technology. My robots will have no equal, and so will march on to Texas. Oh, and you go to war with those guys, probably. And his depression. Without well, disappointed this, what's the point of going on without the AI that guarded Mexico for so long, without the man who guarded me for so long, without the father that always guided me? Oh boy. Direct control, waste autonomy. CNC robots lose all their organization benefit, which really sucks. Get more soft attack though. Supply use. You lose even more defense here too. John, see the right side and the left side. I think are probably the best. Cause I don't want any more debuffs. I don't like direct control is not bad. Frontline robots. But you lose all that organization. That's a huge chunk of organization that we get from them. Frontline, you lose defense, more soft attack. And frontline robots, more breakthrough organization. Uh, for we lose so much of that though. More coordination is not bad though. Coordination is damage dealt to primary target in combat and damage. You get less experience soldiers losses, more output, more HP, more organization, more output, more planning speed, better recovery rate, better supply use, more hardness, more armor. I like the armor. So I'm going to go right and then to the left. Yurikas join the NCR, well good for them, we don't care. 
We might end up fighting the NCR someday. We might not. We'll just have to wait and see. New Arena declared war on the Den. There's a lot of nations that start with the word the. Send and his birthday. And then acceptance. The lock is gone, but Mexico remains, as do I. All I can do is try to be the leader that he would have wanted to carry the torch of his legacy. That's to be September. So, despair. I did this. This is all my fault. I stole what was rightfully his. Uh, used father for my own desires. What have I done? Sweet Jesus, what have I done? Become a simple thief? Worse a murder? I don't think I could continue. Continue? To have done the things I have done in the name of my petty goals, it was madness. Utter madness. Please, Father, forgive me. Ashes to ashes, dust to dust. Both. There will end today's episode. If you enjoyed the video, though, leave a like. Subscribe if you're new. Check out my Discord link in the description below. And I'll see you tomorrow. See what else we can do with Ejercito Mexicano. Thanks for watching. Have a tremendous rest of your day.